insurance. We've all heard this word, and it's one of those things that seems so simple, but when we really think about it, trying to explain what insurance is just isn't easy. In this video, you will learn what an insurance plan is composed of so that we can quickly and easily get rid of the ambiguity that surrounds the word. I'll break things down and explain the most important components of a plan, like the plan's maximum, deductible, percentages, frequencies, and more. First, we'll take a look at an example insurance plan and highlight the different components. Here, we see a pretty standard insurance plan. This number is the maximum allowed benefit. A maximum allowed benefit is the maximum amount that the insurance company will pay for the patient's treatment during that benefit period, which is stated here. Next, we'll look at the deductible. The deductible is the amount the patient must pay for dental treatment before the insurance covers the patient for a specific procedure. The procedures that require the patient to pay their deductible prior to treatment being covered can vary, but most often a deductible must be paid before a restorative procedure is covered, whether basic or major. Dental plan deductibles commonly range from between $25 to $100, and there is no need to worry about the deductible after it's been paid for that benefit period. Next, we'll take a closer look at the types of procedures this insurance plan covers. Procedures are typically broken down into three categories. Preventative slash diagnostic, which is often the least involved in simplest procedures, Restorative basic, which encompasses more involved procedures as well as some specialty procedures, and restorative major, which is mostly composed of big case procedures. The first we will go over is preventative slash diagnostic. This category encompasses x-rays, exams, and cleanings. You can think of this category as procedures in a standard recall appointment. Insurance normally covers preventative slash diagnostic procedures at 100%, as seen in this sample insurance plan. This means that insurance pays 100% of the insurance fee for each procedure and the patient pays nothing out of pocket. However, remember that most insurances count whatever they have paid for these services towards the maximum amount allowed benefit. For example, think of taking a trip to the grocery store. Say you have a total of $100 and you can spend that on groceries that day. You can use the $100 however you'd like. Say you want to spend it on fruit, drinks, and snacks. If you spend $30 on fruits, you only have $70 left to spend on both drinks and snacks. So, if for example, a recall appointment costs the insurance company $100 for a cleaning, $75 for a total of 4 bite wings, and $110 for a periodic oral exam, then the total the insurance will pay is $285. These prices come from the prices that the insurance sets in their contract with an office. This $285 will then be subtracted from the maximum allowed benefit of $1,500, leaving that patient with $1,215 left on their maximum benefit for further treatment for the rest of that benefit period, like how our grocery shopper had $75 left after spending $30 on fruits. The numbers used here are arbitrary for the sake of explaining how a maximum works, but we'll go over the details of insurance fees in a future video. The second category of procedures is restorative basic. This category usually encompasses things like composites and amalgams, extractions, endodontic services like root canals, and periodontic services like scaling, root planning, and crown lengthening. Although for some insurance plans, oral surgery and endo will have their own specific percentages, so watch out for that. In the sample insurance plan, the patient is covered at 80% for basic procedures. This means that the patient will pay 20% of the insurance fee, while the insurance will pick up the remaining 80%. We will go over total cost, including the deductible, in a later video, because there's a specific way this cost is calculated to include the deductible. The final category of procedures is restorative major. This section is reserved for what would typically be considered a case for a dentist and usually involves replacement of teeth. These procedures include crowns, post and cores, dentures, both partial and complete, and fixed partial dentures. For this plan, major services are covered at 50%, so the insurance will pay half and the patient is responsible for the other half. Again, we'll go over how to calculate the cost of this in a later video. 
These three categories include the vast majority of services you will see in an office, but there are some procedures that lay outside of these sections that may be uncovered by insurance at their own specific percentages. Some of these procedures include night guards and orthodontics, for example if your office does Invisalign treatment. Most of the time, you can find the percentage covered by the insurance on the plan, but other times it's necessary to call the insurance for exact coverage details. The last thing we'll go over in this video about insurance plans is service frequencies. A service frequency determines how often insurance will cover a specific service within that benefit period. Here's a list of some common procedures along with their frequencies. You can see from this graphic that cleanings for this plan have a frequency of every six months. If you think about it, this makes sense since we usually see recall patients every six months. Another way that insurance might do frequencies for their cleanings is to cover the service twice per benefit period. This means that the patient can get a cleaning anytime up to two times a year during that benefit year. So if the benefit year is January to December, then the patient can get a cleaning in January and July, March and September, and even October and December if they wanted. Individuals under the twice per benefit period coverage can choose any combination of months twice in that benefit period. Note that if the insurance plan is under the every six months period, it's measured precisely. So procedures should be scheduled at least a day after to make sure insurance will cover the visit. The last thing to mention for frequencies is the as needed frequency. As needed basically means that the service will be covered as long as it's medically necessary for the appointment. The most prominent example of this is a PA. PAs are needed for diagnosis during, for instance, an emergency appointment because the x-ray of the tooth in question is needed to see what's wrong with the tooth and to determine the type of treatment that might be recommended. So let's do a quick review of the basic breakdown of what a provider should know about an insurance plan. The first takeaway is that each insurance plan has a maximum allowed benefit that the insurance will pay toward all dental treatment for that benefit period and also a deductible. Second is that each dental plan has three main coverage levels, preventative slash diagnostic, restorative basic, and restorative major. These three categories encompass specific procedures. Finally, remember that each individual procedure has an allowed frequency and a benefit year for the insurance company to cover that procedure. In the next video, we'll talk about basic codes for procedures that you should know, as well as some tips and tricks for memorizing them. Until then, thanks for learning with us.